Welcome to Buck TV News. I'm Brian Lehman with the final sports update of the fall semester. For today's segment of This Week in Buccaneer Athletics, we turn back the clock four years to November 19th, 2016, when ETSU's football team closed out its first season back in the Southern Conference with a comeback win versus the Sanford Bulldogs. That week, the conference rival Bulldogs were ranked number 18 in the FCS and featured an offense that was averaging 38 points per game. Regardless, the Bucs dominated the time of possession that day, holding the ball for 41 minutes of the contest and rallied from a 14-3 third quarter deficit to set up kicker J.J. German for a game-winning attempt. Texton puts it down. J.J. German for the win! He got it! He got it! J.J. German and the Bucs have shocked the Bulldogs! That field goal gave ETSU a 15-14 victory as time expired in the season finale. In a week that saw several college football games canceled or postponed due to COVID-19, ranked teams came from behind to survive upset attempts by their conference rivals. For the second straight week, the number 20 USC Trojans scored a go-ahead touchdown inside two minutes to stave off defeat in the Pac-12. The Trojans scored an eight-yard touchdown with 25 seconds left on Saturday versus the Arizona Wildcats to claim a 34-30 victory. In the ACC, the number nine Miami Hurricanes trailed Virginia Tech 24 to 13 in the second half, but the Hurricanes scored 12 unanswered points to defeat the Hokies by one, 25 to 24. Two transfer athletes on ETSU's men's basketball team are already attracting the attention of the Southern Conference as Ty and Ladarius Brewer were named to the SoCon's preseason all-conference team. The brothers bring a combined 80 starts to this revamped Buck squad, with Ty entering his junior season at the forward position and Ladarius suiting up for ETSU as a redshirt junior guard. Bonnie Patterson and Jordan Coffin return for their senior seasons, joining sophomore Charlie Weber as the only three Bucks on the roster that were featured on the court during last season's championship run. With change comes opportunity, and the Bucks will have the chance to exceed expectations this season after being ranked third in the conference's preseason polls. Week 10 in the NFL concludes tonight, and Buck TV News' Josh Jarnigan brings you this week's Monday Night Football Preview. Two division rivals heading in opposite directions are set to clash in this week's Monday Night Football game when the Chicago Bears match up with the visiting Minnesota Vikings. While the 5-4 Bears need to snap their three-game losing streak, the 3-5 Vikings have won their last two games with back-to-back big-time performances from star running back Dalvin Cook. Versus the Packers and the Lions, Cook amassed a combined six touchdowns and 478 total yards. On the other side of the ball, the Vikings defense has allowed nearly 30 points per game this season, which could help Chicago's lackluster offense improve its output. The opening kickoff comes shortly after 8.15 tonight on ESPN. For Buck TV News, I'm Josh Jarnigan. Thank you, Josh. That is the final sports segment of the semester. The last campus news segment will be released on Wednesday. I'm Brian Lehman, and on behalf of Buck TV News, have a safe and happy holiday season.